My name is Sue Helmelin. I'm a director at Sensitive Care Solutions. We're a domiciliary care provider within the Leicester Leicestershire area. Our main objective is to look after adults um, who have disabilities, whether it be physical or mental. We specialise in palliative care, learning disabilities and other various illnesses that people are faced with. Sensitive Care was formed in 2017 but it's a family run business with over 30 years of care experience. As a member of the East Midlands Chamber, we have a really good and strong working relationship with, with certain members, for example, Tom Munro and Paul Stewart. And what that allows us to do is when there's opportunities that arise that are relevant to us, like funding support, Tom and Paul will be very quick to tell me or inform me and advise and guide us to where we can know. It's not just about funding, but also about training. One of the challenges that we face is when an individual is nearing towards the end of their life, their needs change and change quite drastically in a very short amount of time. Previously, a lot of our work was completed paper-based. So anything, any recording materials, any information they would need would be printed in the office, taken over to the client's house, point to situ, completed, that would can come back to the office. But when you've got a situation where, the, where it's changing quite dynamic, quite quickly, you need to be able to react. You cannot work on a paper-based format. So having this hardware equipment that we got through the accelerator funding, we are able to put a tablet in place for these clients. And what that does is the carers can record, access additional material, wherever that material need may be immediately that would be shared in real time back to us in the office and as with care we're not the only stakeholders there are social services nhs even the families and we're having to coordinate with all these various stakeholders to make sure that any needs are being met instantly but having these electronic devices in situ we're able to do that in real time where something previously would have taken days to get resolved, it's now taking minutes to hours. The Accelerator programme has just allowed us to move that one or two steps closer to trying to get our outstanding um, rating because we've been able to react, not only that, we've been able to upskill our staff to deliver a higher standard of care. Our ethos at Sensitive Care is if we have the ability to help somebody, then that becomes an obligation to us. But we can't do that alone and our obligation as a company who provides care isn't just providing care to our clients but it's also providing care to our team members our staff everybody that we're in contact with family members by being part of the East Midlands Chamber by having their support by being able to access grants and funding such as the accelerator program just allows us to be able to fulfill our ethos and our obligations far better what that has done is given us confidence in taking on more and more packages, more and more clients, especially palliative or complex. And without that funding, we previously we, we wouldn't consider it. So what it's done is increased our ability to support clients in various needs further and take on additional work. So yeah, I think it's been great, not just for us, but for our staff, but also for the community and taking the pressures off, whether it be the NHS or social services.